Mike, stay in there, buddy. We were all fighting for our lives. I would be torn apart or shot to death with my own weapon. We would do January 6th all over again. At some point during the fighting, I was dragged from the line of officers and into the crowd. I was struck with a taser device at the base of my skull numerous times uh, until I yelled out that I have kids. It's believed that I was unconscious for approximately four minutes. At the hospital, doctors told me that I had suffered a heart attack and I was later diagnosed with a concussion, a traumatic brain injury, and post-traumatic stress disorder. We were all fighting for our lives to save you guys, regardless of my personal safety. Bloody hand that you saw, that was, that's me. Both my hands were bleeding bad. They were calling us traitors, even though they were the one doing, committing the treasonous act. Directly in front of me, a man seized the opportunity of my vulnerability. He bashed me in the head and face with it, rupturing my lip and adding additional injury to my skull. I did the only thing that I could do and screamed for help. If I stayed there, then I was gonna, you know, pass out from lack of oxygen or get dragged out into the crowd. The mob of terrorists were coordinating their efforts now, shouting, heave, ho, as they synchronized, pushing their weight forward, crushing me further against the metal door frame. Recuperated as best I could before I got back out there again. More than six months later, January 6th still isn't over for me, and I'm now receiving private counseling therapy for the persistent emotional trauma of that day. It was for democracy. It was for the men and women of the House and Senate. It was for each other, and it was for the future of the country. We would do January 6th all over again. We wouldn't stay home because we knew it was going to happen. We would show up. That's courageous. That's heroic.